I bet you're wondering why Ryan and I are sitting in this goat stall, or barn stall, rather. Uh, <laughs> we went and picked up our very first ever livestock guardian dog today. And he's busy munching away on all the crap that's in this goat stall, such as the life of guard dogs. So he is 16 weeks old and he is a pure um, Great Pyrenees. This is uh, my second actually livestock guardian dog. I did have a livestock guardian dog a while ago, a long time ago. Uh, but I did not have her for very long uh, life circumstances. I ended up having to get rid of her to rehome her. And we never really felt comfortable with having a livestock guardian dog at our property in California because we were so close to the highway and we only had about 10 acres. So I just didn't feel like enough property for us to roam in. Enough, really enough property for us that we felt like it was enough for him to him or her to roam um, so this is an opportunity for us now I think to just more effectively manage a guard dog here so this guy and uh, do you want to tell him tell him the name that you picked out Osu O-S anything about me uh, I'm from Ohio I went to the Ohio State University uh, so OSU is the abbreviation for that um, yeah it's kind of a big deal to me so when I came up with the name of Osu it was like <laughs> this is perfect this is perfect um, so we were kind of coming up with names like that and so when I come Okay, I actually think Sarah might go for this, so but she did. Little known fact about Ryan, he actually is a very good dog name picker, to be honest with you. He has picked the, well, this is the third dog that he has picked the name of. Cassia, our yellow lab, he picked her name. Uh, Griff, or Griffy, is named after Ken Griffey junior who was one of his favorite baseball players so he actually has picked some good names for all three of our dogs all three of our dogs yeah and now osu has joined the crew and osu is plum tuckered out from his morning <laughs> adventure <laughs> riding in the car for the first time in just a new spot so he's just chilling in here he's very very sweet very affectionate um so, so anyways, action. so yeah. affectionate, <laughs> but so his job will actually be, he's going to be with the goats. So his job, as long as it works out and things may change, you know, as he gets bigger and we may find that he's better suited to something else. But our plan with him is that he will stay with the dairy goat herd. So he'll be going out to the pasture with them during the day and then coming back here into the barn at night. We do have plans to get other dogs. Um, I think right now the plan is to have another dog with the, when we get sheep, with the sheep herd, and then possibly even two more that just are general livestock guard dogs for the whole property. Um, I think we want to try and have some, uh, some dogs out with the broiler chickens, um, but definitely we'll have a dedicated team with the sheep and then and then osu will be a dedicated <laughs> with the dairy goats he looks real dedicated too so what we have him doing right now is he's actually in the barn next to the goats if you can see them right through here so he's in the barn next to the goats so that he can hear them and smell them and they can hear and smell them and he'll be in here for a couple of days just to kind of get acclimated and decompress from the move and everything and then we'll be letting everybody out together um, so they can all get used to being around together. He is trained to electric fence, which is what we keep the, uh, the goats in. So that's good, that'll help keep him in. And uh, yeah, so, but he's basically ready to work. He's been training on his home farm for the last 16 weeks. So we're really excited to have him here. And I know the girls, they actually have not met him. By the time I got home, they were 
uh, they were ready for a nap. So we actually put them to bed and they haven't got to meet them yet. So we'll be meeting them shortly as soon as they wake up. And of course, we'll share that with you guys too. So in the meantime, welcome home, Osu. Go, Emmy. Go with Mama. Like to come and get in front of you guys. Not that it really matters, but. Come here, Ella. Come on, we gotta see the surprise. What is it? What is it? What is it? Emma, what do you think? Do you want to know his name? Yeah. It's Osu. Alex, can you say Osu? Osu. Good job. Go ahead, Pickle. Because he's laying in hay. Look around you. What do you think? Can you give him a food? Why does he have food right there? Give him a food. Give him a food. I love him. You love him? Yeah. He's going to love you very much. And will he miss me? Probably, yes. <laughs> drop-offs but they're not coming to the farm yet because we're only getting just the tote for the pigs we don't have the broiler feed or anything like that so we actually end up meeting them in town so that's what we're heading out to do this morning and then we've got to come back here and it is supposed to rain tomorrow so we just put the tote to feed in Ryan's truck and then we'll just park the truck in the barn until we can actually get out to where the pigs are and then we can drop it off to them so that's what we're gonna do today so <laughs>
truck into the barn over here. It rained a lot yesterday, so it's a little swampy in the barnyard. Why do I always feel like everything around here is just kind of like a dicey situation? <laughs> but we're going to give it a shot. The tractor is running and can always pull them out if we have to, but uh, fingers crossed this works out. actually went a lot easier than I thought it was going to. All I could envision was him sliding off of the, the side over here in the barnyard. Like I said, it's pretty, it's pretty swampy, but we're pretty sure that he used to bring maybe trailers in here and definitely the cows were in this area. So it's pretty compacted. So <laughs> somebody's in a mood today. So anyways, it worked out well. We've got the, um, around and don't mind the mess in here this is all stuff that we haven't had a chance to clean out so we've got the tote of pig feed in here so this will actually be really easy because the pig feed is right here and the pigs are directly behind us down this hill so we can just load up buckets for now until it dries out and we get the get this feed into the the barn that's near the pigs so we are good um, yes Ryan wanted me to point out to you that we are feeding a certified organic feed on our hogs. This is a soy free hog grower um, that is certified organic. So hopefully that will help us get that or <laughs> help us get that organic certification that we are going to be acquiring. Good morning. It is a bit of a rainy morning this morning. So we are heading out to check on the puppy and give him his breakfast and of course do chores. Everybody has something special for him this morning. Ella, what do you have for Osu this morning? A toy. Oh, nice. Emmy, what do you have for Osu this morning? Yeah. What is that? A shoe. Say his collar. What's his name? A shoe. Good job. Good job. So we've got a chew toy for him and a collar, a new red collar, of course, because red is the color of everything, Ohio State. everything Ohio State around here. <laughs> so a nice red collar that'll look pretty and um, a little chew toy just in case he gets bored out there. He is a puppy after all. So we're going to head out. Let's go see how everybody's doing this morning. So now that he has been in his stall for a couple of days, um, we actually put him in the stall right next to the goats. So he's been in the stall. They've been able to smell each other and just kind of see each other through the slats in the stall. Now that he's been there for a couple of days, what we're doing is letting everybody out in the breezeway of the barn. We've got it blocked at both ends so nobody can get out and letting him and the goats get to know each other. He has been amazing. He has done exactly what he's supposed to do. I sent a video of him to his breeder. She's bred uh, Great Pyrenees for, I think over 20 years, she said. And um, she actually wants to use the video that I sent her of him uh, for her, uh, her clients, her future clients, and also in her Facebook uh, group because he did such an amazing job. So he is perfect. He's doing exactly what he needs to do. The goats have never really been around uh, dogs before. They're not used to dogs. We, you know, we had Cass and Griff out on the farm just a handful of times. We couldn't really do it a lot because of the foxtails in California. So they have not really ever seen any dogs. So they're the ones that need more of the training than he does. <laughs> so we're just taking this time um, a, a number of times a day for about an hour or so, just letting everybody out in the breezeway to get to know each other. Once I know that the goats aren't gonna hurt him because he is still small and this sheep 
that sheep right there. She's kind of a monster. So once, <laughs> once I know that they're not gonna hurt him and that everybody is safe in this breezeway, then we can let him out here for the next week or two weeks or so while he homes to the barn and our property and everything, and then we'll begin letting them out um, in the hot fence. He is trained to hot fence, so that's not something that we <laughs> All right, guys, well, it has been a long day and it's cold. <laughs> so I'm giving this guy his dinner and I'm gonna finish up the rest of the chores <laughs> and say good night and head in. Thanks for following along with us today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, we'll see you on the next one. You're a good boy. I'm a good boy. You wanna say good night? Huh? You wanna say good night?